45 News Utah with your Utah News Update. We're going to go through this tonight, talk about what's going on in Utah. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, 112 more COVID-19 cases and no deaths. Nearly 2K vaccination report Tuesday. Okay, demolition underway at South Jordan Home where 20 pounds of explosive was discovered. Not good to be a neighbor there. A big man hunt in Miami continues for three shooters. So still looking for the guys that did the shooting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, man stabbed woman's boyfriend, then asked for his knife back. Charge is safe. If you're gonna, yeah, if you're going to stab somebody, you definitely want your knife back. You know, you never know. Prison shanks are hard to come by nowadays. So a Salt Lake man accused of stabbing another man over the weekend later texted the victim's girlfriend and asked for his knife back, according to charges. Wow. That's just, that's cool. I'll tell you, that's one of the best stories I think I've read in a while. Um, yeah, Biden warns me echoes of Tulsa massacre in America today. Biden, be realistic. <laughs> I don't think this guy's, this is literally, he is literally like, uh, you know, President Reagan and, you know, he's going to set up, you know, the Muppet guy and he sets up in the world we live in, this, you know. And he pushes the nuke button instead of the nurse. That's that's Joe Biden. Just saying. Just saying. Man killed after being hit by a train near Springville. The man died after he was hit by a train Tuesday. Yeah, in Evergreen Drive near Springville. The Utah County Sheriff's confirmed Lehigh mowing water restrictions amid worsening statewide drought. Okay. Lehigh City officials say they're prepared for water restrictions amid the state's worsening drought. And, yeah, it's happening everywhere, guys. It's just going to get worse. I don't see any rain in the forecast. I see an extreme heat warning, which we'll talk about in a minute. Just give me a second on that one. Um, kayaker discovered body. Yeah, the, the kayaker died in Provo River. Uh, body was discovered Tuesday afternoon in Provo River by family. That was kayak, kayaking, please say. Okay, on to the next one. Utah Jazz don't care. A psychologist says Lori Vallow Daybell is not competent. What happens now? Yeah, her kids, she, she killed her kids with that guy. She's not confident, I guess, apparently. 27 have died in bust of largest meth, large Utah meth heroin trafficking ring. Water wide open, drugs just flowing. Just look, just check out the news on that. So, local and federal agents Tuesdays announced a large drug distribution ring with ties to cartels in Mexico was recently busted by law enforcement in Utah. Yeah, bad drug, drug epidemic. It's, it's taking people's lives. It's causing... Havoc throughout the state, throughout the West. Throughout the West. Sandy police investigate suspicious death. Police are investigating a death of a man found in the trunk of an unaccompanied car left uh, partially in the road in the area of 9700 South and Riverside Drive in Sandy. Not good, not good, says, uh, guess the body's found. Yeah, in the trunk, that's bad. Little Pole Firebirds, 21 acres, completely contained. Thank goodness. Have you seen this? Incredible video of pilot crash lands into hangar. Haven't seen it. Everything coming and going in Netflix. Oh, let's see what we're losing, guys. I mean, I do watch Netflix sometimes. So, One-Eyed Jacks. Let's get this. A super. So, adding in June. Super Monster. Abduction. American Outlaws. Bad Teacher. Black Holes. The Edge of All We Know. Uh... Cole Coleman, A Sunday Day for Play, <clears throat> Cradle to the Grave, Flipped, Fools Rush In, Happy Ending, Season 13, I Am Sam, Love Jones, Million Dollar Baby, Ninja Assassin, Save Souls in Skull Castle, Seven Souls, in, we, we need to stop reading, Rick, just, just shut up, okay, so anyway, June 2nd, June 3rd, let's see who's leaving, that's what we should really actually be checking out. Man, I get really bad allergies down here. Leaving Alone, Season 6. Okay, if you guys haven't seen Season 6 of Alone, get on it quick. That's leaving on... Ah, it's left today. So, yeah, you got till midnight. Get on that. Season 6, awesome. Hannibal, Season 1 through 3. On the 4th, is leaving Search for Bobby Fisher. That's on June 6th. It'll be out of here. Portlandia, Season 1 through 8. That's June 9th. Yeah. 20th Century Woman, Tulsa Tales, that Tulsa stuck in my head, Tales of the City, Season 1. Oh, there's a lot more going out in June. Let's 
looks like. Uh, June 30th is going to be the Twilight Zone series, season one through five. I really would like to see that, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen it before. All right. Back to the Future 2 and 3 is leaving. Back to the Future is leaving. Act of Violence. A Bridge Too Far. That might be a good one. That's on the 30th. 30 minutes or less. I have no idea what that noise is. Well, I kind of do. <clears throat> My daughter and her dog walking machine. I'm just saying. Yeah. Utah, Idaho leads nation in 2020 tax gains. Outperforms pre-pandemic year. We should be very proud of that. Very proud. You guys paid more taxes you did this year than you did ever other years. Just everybody, a big let's just let's golf clap everybody. Let's just do this around. Let's go around. You guys, we all paid more taxes. Congratulations, guys. We get a badge for that. They're gonna send us out in the mail. The Utah Tax Commission. You guys did so good. You just went ahead and paid more taxes. That's something we should be proud of. Upside down world. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and part. Okay, whatever. Moderna files for full U.S. approval COVID-19 vaccine. Don't care. Not going to say nothing about it. <laughs> U.S. says ransomware attacks on meatpacker JBS likely from Russia. Remember the likely. Just, just above me on all. When they state likely, that is not a confirmation in any way, shape, or form. Just say it. Doesn't matter what it's pertaining to. When they throw in likely, that's the the you know reporter writing in likely to cover their tell because they know there's probably not much evidence on that or you know maybe they're just blanket blanketly uh, absorbing themselves from uh, actual you know being called fake news. <laughs> U.S. says ransom attack. So let's go. Uh, JBS cancel shifts at large U.S. and Canadian meat plants on Tuesday after the company was hit by a cyber attack over the weekend, threatening to disrupt food supply chains and further inflate food prices. Wow, a lot of people are going to get really, really rich off this. Just just make money. They, they're invested in that food pack, packing plant. They're invested in these companies. got stocks. And, you know, today they're, oh, yeah, we're stocks going through the roof, guys. Get ready. There's an attack on our company. Oh, my gosh, we're going to, I just made a bazillion dollars. These idiots are going to pay so much for everything. Else. It's like, oh, what's he buy? A little square of meat like this is going to cost you 30 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of people make a lot of money off this stuff. Yeah, the hack on the oil uh, stuff. And maybe they went through the roof, but you suckers will start paying that, and then they'd just be fine after that. Three dollars a gallon, we don't care. Those that hate, you know, fossil fuels will be filling up grocery bags in the back of their behind their car and spilling fuel everywhere because they can't understand why the fuel just stopped. You know, Green New Deal. Woo! Weird world we living in. Really weird. Woman point pointed shoe at officers like it was a gun. Police say. That's when you're desperate, you know, just desperate. I think she needs mental help uh, beyond anything else, unless there's somebody who's injured during this. A woman accused of pointing a shoe at an officer like it was a gun was arrested Monday. Police say the incident could have easily turned into officer-involved shooting, if not for officers keeping their cool. Thank you, officers, for not shooting her because we don't need another event. But she is alive today. But remember, there is a lot of people that need mental help during this time. During this time. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, see if anything else. Uh, major, uh, there was a uh, ruling today that tribal, uh, that, that Native American tribes are, uh, they're sovereign and they're policed and everything. So, awesome news. So, uh, I don't see the story. Where was it? It was the heat wave is going to hit southern Utah. Breaking news. There's going to be a, a, a dangerous heat wave hitting southern Utah uh, starting Thursday through Saturday. Uh, it's going to be, we're expecting 105 degree temperatures in St. George. So it is a, it's going to be a danger. So uh, if you have outdoor plans Thursday through Saturday to be working down there, you may, need to be prepared. They're saying that, you know, it is a health issue. It is, it could cause a lot of, a lot of problems for people who have cardiac issues and uh, dehydration. So remember Thursday through Saturday, extreme temperature warning. Just extreme. So I, my suggestion to you guys, if you're going to do anything, try to get it done during the evenings and nights. Um, I'm the same boat. If I have to go down there this weekend to do stuff or work or whatever, just remember all the Utah deserts are going to be hot. It's going to be hot up here, 95 plus here, 105 St. George. So if you're making any plans, I would seriously cancel them if, you can, if you're going to be in the higher, lower elevations. Higher elevations, perfect. Uh, I got my camp up top already, so I'm ready to go for these temperatures. <laughs> But 
just be be really wary and uh, take precautions. Um, it's just it's just not worth worth getting into a situation. Okay, K U T V two news. What what what? K U T V. Okay, let's get on this. Well, I'm not going to redo this entire video just because of that. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. I know it's unprofessional. But these are my notes now. It saves me a lot of writing and drive myself crazy. Missing Utah County. You went to county. 19-year-old found dead. Oh, that sucks. 19-year-old, basically a kid, found dead. You went to county. So let's see. Uh, looks like uh, Max Stubbs. The subject of an extensive search by the Uinta County Law Enforcement was found dead Tuesday. Stubbs has been missing since May 21st. Oh, their ads suck. Remax, give me your, your kleptocracy housing market. <laughs> yep, Stubbs had been missing since May 21st, according to Uinta County Sheriff's Office. His parked vehicle was located in a remote area south of Jensen, Utah, 2.30 p.m., Sheriff's official stated his body was found nearby. They said the investigation into the death is ongoing. However, there is nothing suspicious at this time. They said, yeah, Utah, Colorado, Civil Air Patrols are looking for him. Helicopters, law enforcement teams, deputies offers thoughts and prayers for Stubbs family. Suicide is not the option, guys, okay? Oh, man, these people. Like this, this, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, just looking at this is just... Governor Cox issues Pride Month declaration, believed to be the first for Utah governor. Man killed by train in Springville. We talked about that. Man dead in Trunk found that. Uh, okay, watch local U.S. officials announce changes against drug trafficking with ties to cartels. Charges. Announces charges. Oh, okay, this is it. Yeah, so 27 people. We, we just talked about that. Just talked about it. Okay, let's get back on the news. Maids of Utah's Theodore Jensen killed in Pearl Harbor to be laid to rest in Delta. That's just awesome. That was the best generation right there. Lehigh implements water restrictions on drought worsening. Utah needs more consistency with domestic violence offered offenders who st strangle Yes, yeah, strangulation is not that big of a crime. So strangulation needs to be a felony charge anytime somebody's strangled. Domestic or, or on the anywhere. Any a fight, anything. Strangulation once strangulation is brought out, guy, someone goes for your neck, it should be a immediate felony. Putting someone in a headlock to to not to you know calm them down or whatever. When someone goes for the grab for the jugular and tries to strangle that way, yeah. You know, hands around the neck. That that should be an immediate felony, and that person should spend at least ten years in prison. Okay, Utah meatpacking plant shut down after JBS hit by ransomware attack. So, if if these people continue to do this, they're just going to continue to do it because they're getting paid. They got paid. Utah Goat Spring Fire ninety five percent contained, and thank goodness because temperatures going to heat up real fast. June 1st data, no further COVID-19 deaths in Utah hospitalizations remain steady. Uh, if you're up by I-80, there's going to be a lot of, on, on in, in uh, I-80 and, and I-215, there's going to be some construction. Yeah, here it comes again, $5.4 billion uh, road maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Governor Cox signed in before he even got the money for the feds. I don't know, I don't know $600 million short every year. I don't know how he did that. Gas taxes are, tax are too high. Because we got record taxes, guys. We just, yeah. We'll put a 2020, 2020, Utah pay, just received a record amount of taxes. Just, that should be the, the whole banner for the year of 2020. Uh, man dies a single rollover crash near Utah, Arizona border. Okay. Looks like we're just about done because now we're getting into national. Uh, yeah. Just nothing really cool. Nothing really awesome. <laughs> so, just flipping through the pages, guys. Just flipping through the pages. Oh, list of pro hearing of man convicted of attempted murder, set free, then raped teen. Oh, my 
gosh, this is these people. Dirt bag, scumball, dirt bag. Okay, Salt Lake City investigated to cover a series of failures that facilitated kidnapping and rape of a teenage girl in 2020 by convicted felon on parole. Below here, the blah blah credit kind of sexual assault. Uh, looks like his name was. Yeah, Lou Jan. I don't know. This guy's just a dirtbag. He's just, yeah, he's. Now, so it looks like after the investigation, Utah Parole created a new policy to address a loophole. So they had a loophole that Luan, that Luan, uh, I had a very bad drug addiction, he said. Yeah, narcotic painkillers over a period of five years, five and a half years. It didn't, yeah, I don't know what caused me to do that to an innocent person. He said, he just, he just, he raped a 15-year-old girl, so abducted and raped her. Walking home from school. Dirt bag, dirt bag, dirt bag, garbage, just human garbage. Human garbage. Okay, well, I can show you a picture of the human garbage. That, with the, the play button in front of him, is human garbage. That's what human garbage looks like. And look how awesome he looks after he got arrested again. He looks so much better with his drug addiction and raping 15-year-old kids. Dirtbag scumball. Loser. Fire squad. I'm sorry, bro. Not, but not. I, it's just, you did what you did. It's time to face up for it. Or an electric chair would be great. That would be a good punishment. Okay. Major challenge police departments across the country are facing. Well, uh, yeah, everything that police departments are facing, including budget shortfalls. So, I guess uh, April jobs reports show modest gains in numbers of jobs added to the economy. Sure it did. Yeah. Sure it did. Uh, looking at the possible warning signs of inflation and the U.S. economy. Boy, they're right on top of this. Wow, they're sharp as a needle, ain't they? Just <laughs> ain't look at President Biden's tax plan. Do we even want to look at it? I think we have to actually click on the uh, the link and listen to him. But uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those things. Let's just listen to him. I'd like to see in black and white wrote down what this, these uh, complete morons are thinking they're going to do to crash the dollar. Just to just to smear it right in the toilet. That way we don't have any, you know, <laughs> there'll be nothing left of the dollar. Just spend in oblivion. <laughs> they can't even make the, the coinage for it. They ain't enough trees. Thank goodness Canada is getting tariff for their wood. Now we got a forty percent tariff on Canada on the wood coming across the border. Well that way you can't create the dang paper to make the dang dollars, right? And I wonder how he's gonna make all that the, the metals to make coinage. I could be mining. <laughs> I'm just saying to him. Anti-mining, but, you know, hey, you know, who figured that out, you know? But that's why, you know, we don't need money anymore. We got digital fake currencies that don't really exist, developed by somebody we don't even know. Still remains a mystery, but this stuff keeps climbing through the roof. $25,000, $36,000 of Bitcoin. It's, yeah, it's just, it's just fake fiat currency. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It can fall just as fast as it went up. It's just a money-making Ponzi scheme. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. What are we doing in society? Suspect in New York sucker punches attacks Asian woman has been arrested eight times in the past. Dirt bag, dirt bag, dirt bag, loser. Uh, garbage, human garbage. Uh, I think enough's enough. You know, just, just, you know, lop him off of the kneecaps. That's probably a good one. You know, just lop off his ankles or something. You know, do something really cool so he's like just stubbing around everywhere. Don't let him get prosthetics either. He'll be chasing people around on stubs. Do, 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 do. I'll beat you up. I'm a tough guy now. Guns, tracks, and scholarships. West Virginia announces prizes for COVID-19 vaccine lottery. <sighs> Here's the hackers attack the largest meat packing process. Word work disrupted. U.S. Canada delivers halt, delivers halt to thousands of sent home in Australia. So this affected the world. Now, make a lot of money off this stuff. I'm telling you, that's what they're doing. 
So let's see what the word soup says on this one. Uh, can Australia workers stay at home? Sunday as target company serves North America. Yeah. Backup server not affected. Who you blaming, bro? Who you blaming? Ransomware. Um, I don't really see anything there. They didn't put it on RT. Okay, so they didn't put Russia to blame on RT, which is pretty much RT, Russia Today Television, funded in fully or in part by the Russian government. Just saying, well, our, our news media is funded by the government, too. I don't know anybody think it is. They get subsidies on the wazoo. Just subsidies out, out the wazoo. Okay. Okay, DLG moves to dismiss charges against accused capital riot for the first time after case crumbles over lack of evidence. Well, there you go. <laughs> Los Angeles firefighter killed colleague, wounds another before burning his own home down and commits suicide. Oh, do, we, do we want to even get into the transitioning thing? I mean, tonight, this is local news anyway. This is, fed, this, is, this is global. Yeah. Okay, we don't want to get into that. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. Okay, not good. Lucky strike. Space debris punches a hole in robotic arm on International Space Station. Yeah! Just like, I've just been waiting for this day. Just, just hit that arm. Like, oh, oh, bad. International Space Station. God has his hand in everything. And including space debris. Okay, Fauci continues his optimistic cult of personality with the new life philosophy book all thanks to a pandemic <laughs> just not even gonna click on it <laughs> covid is almost off the table on any of the platforms so almost almost biden uh yeah i'm not gonna talk about trump expects to get reinstated as president by august new york times hack <sighs> maggie heberman haberman claims sparking a storm just a storm just storms clouds everywhere i'm looking out storm clouds just rolling over everything utah collecting more taxes than it ever has in its history in 2020 just telling you just, just keep that in your mind we're, we're heroes now uh yes women earn less than men women do yes but it's not because they are being discriminated against well yeah you know i i dealt with that in the past i've seen it Kind of happened some places. Not going to get into it. Uh, yeah. So Russia's top security chief sends stern warning: Moscow will Moscow willing to use real force against foreign adversaries, not just sanctions. So that was directly from their defense minister said we are ready to use actual force against our enemies that are trying to cause disruptions and and do things to us to to break up our sovereignty. That was uh, it was announced uh, yesterday or today. So Russia is saying that they're they're willing to talk to Biden, but basically Biden needs sleepy time. T Y is there, so there's a lot of this going on. You know, he's got to have a nurse and ice cream. He's addicted to ice cream and stuff. Anyway, and just yeah, just dumb stuff. But yeah, Russia's just done. They're just like whatever, bro. We're yeah. Uh, black homeless man charged with hate crime after assaulting Asian woman in New York attack. I you know I I just. The race thing is just so stupid. Just stupid. Okay. Well, well, this is kind of cool. Let's see. Catalina bar worker arrested after cutting off boss's penis. Claims she was defending herself against from repeated rape. Oh, I, I ain't going to click on it, guys. Sorry. That's just way out there for me. Way out there. All right. Looks like we're going to wrap this up. Um... Yeah, there's a major outbreak, a major uh, crisis going on in Australia due to a uh, just explosion of the mouse population. Mice just, just I guess they, they had like a, there's a mouse apocalypse going on over in Australia, eating food, crops, and just, just you know, pestilence just breaking out. And uh, in the Middle East, there's, there's just swarms of locusts blocking the sky. Yeah, just saying. Yep, 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 yep. Scary stuff. Wills on the bus, right? RT reporter reports from the thick of war in Central African Republic as Russian instructors aim to help local troops bring lasting peace. Russia's in Africa. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'm still just kind of going through. There's some crazy stuff rushing today. It's kind of stupid stuff. Anyway, wrap this up for today. Just remember, heat warning in St. George, uh, the deserts of Utah. You know, high heat warning. Just be really careful. Starts Thursday, goes to Saturday. So, you know, make a, a preparations. If it's going to be as bad as they're saying it was on the map, showing all St. George, I'm just going to go all the way up into Cedar, Delta, and everywhere else. So, be really careful, guys. Thursday through Saturday. Hope you guys have a great night. Um, last video for the night. Dogs are barking. I'll talk to you guys later.